पुनः पुनः ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मेति मूर्ति भेद विभागिनी व्योमवद्व्याप्त देहाय दक्षिणा मूर्ते नमः सहनावतु सहनौ भुनक्तु सह वीर्यं करवावहि तेजस्वी नावजी तमस्तुमा विद्विषावहि ॐ शांत 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 हि नारायण परोक्त दंडम अव्यक्त संभव मंडस्यांत स्तिमे लोका सप्त द्वीपा च मीदिनी धातु ब्रह्मे संप्रोक्त जीव आख्यात मुच्यते प्रकृति कृष वंतादिर धातु ब्रह्मात्मने नमः लास्ट पार्ट है वी लुक्ड एट दी थर्टीन्थ वर्स इन दी सेवेंटीन चैप्टर विधि ही नम असुरस्तानम मंत्र ही नम अदक्षिणम श्रद्धा विरहितं यज्ञम तामसं परिचक्षते थिंक दैट इज़ द लास्ट वन दैट वी सोया सो ये लुकिंग एट दी राजस सात्विका राजस एंड तामसिका वैरायटीज ऑफ यज्ञ देवताज इत्यादि उन रीज़न द file itself is jumping here and there <coughs> so vidhi hinam the yajna which is bereft of vidhi asrashtannam where food is not served mantra hinam missing mantras or erroneous mantras adakshinam where dakshina is lacking shraddha virahitam bereft of shraddha that kind of yajna is called as tamasa continuing पथ इधानि तपः त्रिविधम उच्चते सो तपः इज एक्सप्लेन टू बी ऑफ थ्री टाइप्स वी वांट्स टू टेक दिस आई टेक द नेक्स्ट वन इट इज अ एनी एनीवन कैन टेक दिस आई कैन टेक देव द्विद गुरुम प्राग्य ओके देव द्विज गुरु प्राग्य पूजन शौच मजव ब्रह्मचर्य अहिंसा चीर तप उच्य शौचमाजव ब्रह्मचर्य अहिंसा शरीर शारीर तप उच्य एक्चुअली देर इज नथिंग टू डू हियर देर ऑल देर ऑल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ शारीर तप सो इट इज ऑल प्रथम विभक्ति एक वचन so they are all pratham vibhakti ek vachana there is nothing uchyate all of these are called karmani prayoga so all of these are called as what by whoever those who know they by them all these are called as shariram tapah so trividha tapah in that what is sharira tapah shari so sharira is sharira sambandhi that is the tadhicha vritti there देवाश्च द्विजाश्च गुरवश्च प्राज्ञाश्च देव द्विज गुरु प्राज्ञाह सो ऑल पुट टुगेदर इज अ द्वंद्व समास सो देव द्विज द्विज इज एनी एनी ऑफ द थ्री वर्णिकास बट जनरली ब्राह्मण these days at least because of yajna pavita samskara lacking so deva dvija guru and prajna prajna is a is a is a jnani rather someone who has wise so all of these are deva dvija guru prajna tesham poojanam so deva poojanam dvija poojanam guru poojanam and prajna poojanam is deva dvija guru prajna poojanam so shashti samasa after iterator dvandva those the the puja pujana is puja puja 
of these all of these and shaucha shaucha is cleanliness arjavam arjavam is rujutvam rujubhava straightforwardness then brahmacharya well known ahimsa well known cha sharira nivartyam shariram so what is the sharira shabda itself it is sharira sambandhi that is the first vritti of the tadhita how do you explain that sharira sambandhi shariram what is that sharira what is that sambandha what kind of sambandha with sharira that which is accomplished with the sharira so shari sharirena nivartyam that which is accomplished by the means of sharira is called as sharira what is that sharira tapaha so it is an adjective to tapa so all these are accomplished through sharira puja is done through using sharira rujubhava is also sharira is needed for that brahmacharya ahimsa all of these are accomplished through the sharira so shariram and then it is further explained what is it sharira pradhanaihi sarvairava karyakaranaihi kartradivi sadhyam because some of these just this sharira is not sufficient you need more than the sharira more than the gross body but the sharira is the tool there sharira pradanaihi sarvaihi eva karyakarani so the karyakaranas which have sharira as pradhana sharira has to be there without that karyakarana cannot be there and kartra divihi all the karakas also taihi sadhyam sadhyam is the meaning of nirvartyam accomplished so sadhyam which is accomplished through the sharira is called as what shariram tapaha shariram tapaha uchyate and it will be said so itihi vakshati in the 18th chapter bhagwan is going to talk a little more about this when he sums up further in continuation trivida tapa i'll take this then others can follow because this has a long bhashya as in some long in the sense of words once you get one then you'll get the others अनुद्वेगकरम वाक्यम सत्यम प्रिय हितंचयत स्वाध्याय अभ्यसनं चैव वाङ्मयन्तप उच्यते अनुद्वेगकरम वाक्यम सत्यम प्रिय हितम प्रिय हितम इज अ सिंगल वर्ड प्रिय हितं चयत दैट व्हिच इज दैट व्हाट इज दैट यत वाक्यम यद वाक्यम अनुद्वेगकरम सत्यम प्रिय हितंच भवती एंड स्वाध्याय अभ्यसनंच एव भवती तत् वाङ्मयं तपः उच्यते सो दैट इज कॉल्ड एज वाङ्मय तप व्हाट इज दैट तपः ऑल दीस आर फर्स्ट केसेस उच्यते द ओनली थिंग इज दिस यत यत बीइंग देयर तप तत कैन बी supplied so we can say tat vaangmayan tapa uchyate that vakya vakya is what vak tapas earlier is this is shari shari tapah then there is vak tapah so what is vak tapah the vakya which is anudvega karam udvega does not bring about udvega does not hurt the others so that which that statement which does not cause pain to others you know some people are the, i mean i say it the way it is i don't care who feels what i just stated facts so bluntly one may just you know blabber something but then it may cause hurt to others अनुद्वेग करम वाक्यम इट शुड बी सत्य ऑल्सो जस्ट बिकॉज इट विल हर्ट दी अदर्स वन 
starts lying that's not right so the vakya should not bring about hurt to the others at the same time just to please others it should not be satya it should also please others but it should not be asat so satyam vakya which is satya as well as anudvega karam further it should be priya hitam priyam and hitam also so priya we already saw that it should be something which is pleasant to hear and hitam hitam in the sense here pleasant to hear this is covered in anudvega karam that's a flip side so we'll see more in the bhashya what is this priyatvam there then hitam it should also bring about hita it should be in the others interest so it should be beneficial and further what swadhyaya abhyasanancha swadhyaya swadhyaya is study of scriptures veda patha itya abhyasanam is also repetition so abhyasanam of swadhyaya swadhyaya can be said one son adhyaya veda and abhyasanam can be seen as chanting repetition of that or you can take it separately as swadhyaya and abhyasana is the practice so what is this practice of swadhyaya and there adhyaya is chanting itself so practice of chanting either way you take it it will mean what it will mean study of the scriptures not only chanting study of the scriptures you can take an extended meaning that is called as vangmay tapa study in the sense study involves chanting veda vakya involves that vakya it is vakya it is qualifying vakya swadhya abhyasanam cha vakyam vangmayan tapaha uchyate so what is anudvega karam prani naam adukha karam vakya which is adukha karam which does not hurt others that kind of a vakya is anudvega karam further satyam satyam we already know priya hitam what is priya hitam chayat priya hite drushta drushtarthe priya and hita regarding what regarding drushta adrushtarthe means drushta adrushta vishay with regard to drushta vishay and adrushta vishay it should be priya as well as hita that kind of vakya so if it is a vakya relating to something drushta laukika or it is related to adrushta it should be priya also it should be hita also if we just tell someone oh you know drushta it is very nice okay priya but not beneficial adrushta also may be beneficial but not priya you tell them that if you do this you will go to naraka if you do this you will go to swarga so that swarga may be hita priya also but then this naraka that you talk about ahita and apriya so why do you bring about this kind of a talk why do you talk about mrityu yamaraja ityadi so drushta adrushta vishaya whatever it is laukika or alaukika vishaye priya and hita now bhagwan bhashakar explains there is not much in the sentence it is clear but anudvega karatvaadi bihi dharmaihi vakyam visheshyate dharmas these adjectives which are actually the qualification of a vakya that is i mean the vakya sentence is qualified here by all of these others others are adjective to the noun which is vakya here in the construct thereby vishesha vishesha dharma samuchya artha cha shabda this cha shabda will put together all the vishesha so you have to say in the anvaya anudvega karam uh, you can say yad vakyam you can say anudvega karam ityadi bhavati as we saw there or you can qualify this with vishesha they are dharmas of the vakya anyway so all of these except for vakya will go on one side which uh, grouping them together so cha shabda this cha shabda is a samasa here 
डैश इज इज च शब्द च शब्द इज विशेषण धर्म समुच्चयार्थ बिकॉज च इफ यू टेक एंड शब्द इट विल नॉट मेक सेंस च शब्द हैज वॉट मीनिंग सो दिस बहुरी दिस इज वॉट इज द अर्थ ऑफ दिस शब्द सो दिस इज बहुरी नॉट दिस दिस च शब्द विशेषण धर्म समुच्चयार्थ च शब्द चीज शब्द यू कैन से चीज शब्द दिस इज कर्म धार चीज शब्द has what artha has artha has the artha of samuchaya so visheshana dharma samuchaya artha cha shabda para pratyartham prayuktasya vakyasya satya priya hitanudve karatvana anyatamena dvabhyam tribhirva hinata syad yadi na tad vangmayan tapah this vangmaya tapah is what where vak is pradhana vangmaya is it this mayat has been used मयट इज प्राचुर्थे प्राधान्य वाय तप सो प्राधान्य वाय पर प्रत्यार्थे प्रत्यय इज अंडरस्टैंडिंग पर प्रत्यार्थम फॉर दि पर्पस ऑफ अदर्स अंडरस्टैंडिंग वेन यू आर यू एक्सप्लेनिंग समथिंग टू समन एल्स वाक्य हेज टू बी यूज सो वाक्य प्रयुक्त से वाक्य दट वाक्य विच इज यूज for the understanding of others that vakya should be satya priya hitanudvega karat so satya priya hitanudvega karatvanam madhye anyatamena this nirdharane shashti among them anyatamena dvabhyam tribhirva hinata syad yadi if it is lacking in satya priya hita anudvega kara in those if one two or three are missing in the group if some are missing one is missing even one is missing or many are missing others are also missing then na tad vangmayan tapah so it is not chak chakara has been used and chakara is in the sense of grouping all of them together not even one of these should be missing that is the idea there and that is explained further bhagwan bhashyakara felt that you know let me explain this para pratyartham prayuktasya vakya satya priya hitanudve karatvanam anyatame advabhyam trivirva hinata syad yadi na tad vangmayan tapah further tatha satya vakya sitresham anyatame advabhyam trivirva vihinatayam na vangmayas tapastvam similarly tatha satya vakya se if the vakya is satya it's the truth but still if it is lacking in others it itaresham anyatamena dvabhyam trivirva if one two or three of the others are missing vihinita vihinatayan na vangmayas tap vangmaya tapastvam so vakya se vangmaya tapastvam na bhavati kada na bhavati when these of one or two or more of these are missing similarly tatha priya vakya se api itaresham anyatamena dvabhyam trivirva vihinasya na vangmaya tapastvam tatha hita vakya se api itaresham anyatamena dvabhyam trivirva vihinasya na vangmaya tapastvam so he just you know like a refrain he has said it so that it sets in well all of these are important for vak tapas vak tapas needs it so all of these should be there that is the idea kim punas tat tapah what is that tapah yat satyam vakyam anudvega karam priyam hitancha tat tapah vangmayam that is the vangmaya tapah he is closing the anvaya there yatha and he gives examples also oh, i don't understand how is it possible how can sentence be satya anudvega kara priya hita etc how is it possible there he gives examples yatha shanto bhava vats so oh dear one be shanta so that is a satya vakya he really wishes well and then 
अनुद्वेग करम ऑल्सो इट इज प्रिया एंड हिता ऑल्सो शांतत्म इज हिता इट इज अल्टीमेट हिता रियली स्वाध्याय योग अनुतिष्ठ फर्दर वॉट डज ई से वॉट कैंड ऑफ सेंटेन्सेस स्वाध्याय योग अनुतिष्ठ फॉलो फॉलो स्वाध्याय Your own Veda Shaka, you follow. If you cannot do anything else, at least that much you do. Yoga, <coughs> follow yoga. Both are Priya as well as Hita. Tatha te Shreyo Bhavishyati. Then there will be Shreya for you. Iti. These are the words. Shreya Moksha. Finally, in the end. Swadhya Abhyasanancha Yuva Yatha Vidhi Vang Vayan Tapah Ucchate. यथाविधि सो वाक्य ऑन वन साइड एंड स्वाध्यासन चकार आउट साइड दीज आर क्वालिफाइंग दाक्य स्वाध्याय अभ्यसन चीज प्रैक्टिस ऑफ वेद वेद चैंटिंग दैट इज ऑल्सो वांग मेन तप यथाधि एज प्रिस्क्राइब नॉट जस्ट बिकॉज इट इज सेड यू चैंट एनी विच वे दैट इज नॉट राइट सो शौच इत्यादि वॉट एवर इज नीडेड आचमन इत्यादि दैट हैज़ टू बी डन यथा विधि विधि अनतिक्रम्य दैट इज दव्यय भाव सामस विधि अनतिक्रम्य यथा विधि फर्दर सिक्सटीन वर्स वॉन्ट्स टू टेक दिस आई कैन टेक दिस नॉट मच टू डू हियर सो आई मीन आई नॉट सेपरेट इट आउट एंड नो अन्वय देर मन प्रसाद मन प्रसाद सौम्यसाद मौनमात्म विग्रह भाव शुद्धिपोमानी उच्यते सो मन प्रसाद सौम्यन मौन आत्म विग्रह भाव संशुद्धि व्यय तप इन एंड मानसम इज टू वन मानसम तप उच्य तप सो मानसम तप उच्य नॉट इट ईज बट वील से इट इज कॉल्ड इट इज कॉल्ड सो वेन यू से कॉल्ड टू मेक इट एज ऑब्जेक्टिव कॉम्प्लीमेंट यू कैन सप्लाई एज विथ सब्जेक्टिव और ऑब्जेक्टिव कॉम्प्लीमेंट हाउ डू यू प्रेडिकेटेड एज सो यू से एज दट वी अंडरस्टैंड मन प्रसाद सौम्यत्व मौनम आत्म विनिग्रह भाव संशुद्धि ऑन वन सैड is predicated as is said to be manasam tapah what is manaprasadah so these are all common words manaprasadah it is a single word manasa prasadah shashti tatpurusha and what is prasada prashanti hi prakarsha shanti so prakarsha shanti then Uh, what is prasada that is manah prasada so what is prasada swachhata padanam prasada so what is prasada swachhata apada apadanam the mind swachhata which attains that calmness actually swachhata there is the uh, swachhata generally means cleanliness but here what is that chitta shuddhi which will bring prasada is that that state of the mind it's a it's a calmness there saumyatvam yat saumanasyam ahuhu 
So what is Saumyatvam? Saumatyam Yat. That is Saumanasyam. What is... Uh, these are all Saumanasyam again here. Here if you say Swachata Apadanam, attaining Swachata in the mind. What is Saumanasyam? This is the result due to that. So Saumyata. You say Saumyata. Sorry? I didn't hear that, uh, Kalyanji. Uh, no, no, go ahead. I, I was I was not okay. talking to you. I okay. made a mistake. So, Saumyatyam yat, Saumanasyam ahuhu. Mukhadi prasada di. So, uh, mukha, Mukhadi prasada di karyunneya antakkaranasya vrittihi. Karya unneya. Karyunneya. What is this? Saumanasyam. All of these are what this manasa, manasan tapaha. So manav prasada, the kind of a tranquility of the mind. Swachata is also, you know, the calmness due to not having anxiety, etc. And saumyatvam is the saumya bhava. The... So these three put together is called as manasa tapa. Oh, there is more there anyway. Mukhadi prasadadi karyonniya antakkarana se vritti. The vritti which is formed in the antakkarana, the stream of thoughts really, although it is said as the thought. How should the thought be led? Unniya is carried, but it is led. How should the thought be led? The mind should have no free flow the way it had. Mind keeps on jumping, but then it should be streamed. The there should be a say over the mind. The intellect should have a say over the mind. That is the mana, mana prasada being there. The mind will not be jumping here and there. It may, it, that's the very nature of the mind, but then still comparatively available when you want. Mind need not be used all the time. The mind can have a free run, but the free run is not causing havoc anymore because there is prasada. There is composure. There is no desire which, which needs to be met. One after the other, there is a stream of desires otherwise. Instead of that, when the mind is calm, one is content, all these attributes characteristics of the mind lead which is which are indicative of chitta shuddhi what will happen they'll in the end they'll lead to the mind being available whenever i want it to do whatever i want it to do it will not overpower the intellect it will not overpower the jiva himself who is hijacked by the vishayas due to the craving so mukhadi prasadadi Karyonniya antakkarana sivritti hi maunam vangniya moapi manasanya purvako bhavati iti karyena karana muchate manasanya maunam iti. So, what is mauna? We say mauna is uh, in, you know, mananat muni, but then mauna is muni also keeps mauna also. Here, manasanya maha maunam. Mauna is not the Vak mauna. It is manasayama. The bahya maunam to balanam. Somewhere it is said that the external mauna. People follow mauna. The mind is as turbulent. But that is not maunam. What is maunam here? Maunam is manasayama. Control over the mind. And that is possible while the others are also there. They, they support each other. Therefore, maunam vangniyamaha api, although it is vangniyamaha, still manasanya purvakaha bhavati. It generally, when you say something, it is backed by a thought. But this mauna, where there is no thought also preceding, that is the real mauna. Thought also preceding in a sense, you, it is not that I want to say, but I will not say. You know, there are people who do mauna and they just you know the pantomime 
they'll they'll be uttering some not words completely without opening the mouth they'll be uttering something that mauna is useless mauna so maunam vangniyamu api manasanya purvaka manasanyamu has to be preceding that vang niyama control over the vang niyama is control over the vak but still manasanya purvaka bhavati iti karyena karanam uchyate thereby there is a karya karana bhava there manasanyama being there there can be a resultant vak that is the way it should be it should not be that the mind is running havoc but one one is following mauna therefore manasanyama is mauna it's a lakshana mauna if we understand it is only understood as silence and silence is when someone does not speak then is silent it is not that the mind is also at rest atma vinigraha मनो निरोध निरोध सामान्य रूप आत्म विनिग्रह सो जनरल मनो निरोध इज जनरल बट इफ यू लुक एट इट देर इज पर्टिक्युलर आत्म विनिग्रह मनो निरोध सर्वता सामान्य रूप आत्म विनिग्रह आत्मा इज वन से so control over oneself that is the general meaning so here here look at it manav prasada saumyatvam maunam atma vinigra so the control over oneself is general then these are specifics bhava samshuddhi ityadi samanya roopa atma vinigra but vag visheshya eva manasa sanyama maunam iti vishesha specific particularly the vag visheshya eva manasa sanyama ha if you look at mauna then it is specific to the mind not with the vag vishaya se eva should not be limited to that vag vishaya when you take it then manasa sanyama has to be understood which has been said earlier so atma vinigraha can include the atma can mean antakarana also thereby it's a general thing specifically it is mentioned with manasam also bhava samshuddhi hi bhava samshuddhi is what bhava samshuddhi is here samshuddhi samyak shuddhi of bhava and bhava here is hridaya there ne chitta itself finally they are listed separately very difficult to say this is this this is the i mean you can to split and talk about it very difficult they have overlapping meanings at times so bhava samshuddhi paraihi vyavahara kale amaya vitvam bhava samshuddhi so it there has to be a specific different meaning brought out and bhagwan bhashyakara says bhava samshuddhi can be understood as what it is also a type of antakarana shuddhi chitta shuddhi but what type the categorization has to be made to differentiate the meanings paraihi vyavahara kale amaya amaya vitvam bhava samshuddhi so when there is व्यवहार विथ अदर्स एट दैट टाइम सो परैही व्यवहार काले परैही सह दिस सह तृतीया परैही सह व्यवहार काले अमाया वित्वम नॉट हैविंग डिसीट यू नो ट्रिक ट्रिकिंग समवन ऑफ कोर्स फॉर वन्स ओन बेनिफिट फॉर स्वार्थ नॉट डूइंग दैट इज भाव संशुद्धि इन द माइंड देयर शुड नॉट बी अ थिंग दैट ओके इन what will i get if i can you know just cheat him away so there are people who do that so that's why there may be purva vasana which may you know just come up why do i care you know if i get something out of it let me just get it done but one should not have that in the mind that is a particular type of chitta shuddhi so some generals are there and some particular differentiation is made शारीरिकारीरिकारीरिकारीरिकारीरिकारीरिकारीरिकारीरिकारीरिकारीरिकारीरिकारीरिकारीरिकारीरिकारीरिकारीरिकारीरिकारीरिकारीरिकारीरि
and then mana samcha tapaha this is the three types of tapaha have been mentioned taptam naraihi sattvaadi guna bhedena katham trividam bhavati ti uchyate so three fold tapa is by their types but sattvaadi guna bhedena it has not been talked about this tapa is also of three types in the context of the satvika rajasika and tamasika person what kind of tapa would a satvika person do he may also do sharirika tapa kaikam mana vachikam and manasa tapa all three types of people may do thereby those kinds of tapas all three types of tapas can be done by all three types of people and what is what is the categorization based on the guna guna bhedena katham trividam bhavati iti uchyate that is said what is the verse anyone may i yeah shraddhaya paraya taptam tapas tat trividham naraihi तपः तत् त्रिविधम नरैहि अफला कांक्षिभिर बिहि देयर इज अ दीर्घ अफला अफला कांक्षि बि या आकांक्षा अफला कांक्षि बि के श्रद्धया परयातम तपस त्रिविधम Even in the bhasha, it is dhirva. Apala, apala. Yeah, actually, apala, apala. Kangshir does not work. Apala, it should be apala. Shraddhaya apala tapam tapas tatrividandrai hi apala kangshir bhir yukte ya apala. It is typo. Pata says Gita Pata says apala. Yeah, it will be apala. Uh, yeah. Meter wise also, it is fitting only with apala. Apala kangshir bhi yukte hi sattvi kam parichakshate. युक्त स्त्री त्री सा कर्मा फॉर दैट इज तपः तपः तप्तम तपः टू वन टू वन तप्तम तपः एस कर्मा टू व्हाट युक्त युक्त ही इज सात्विकम तत्त्व इज़ आल्सो देयर ओके सा युक्ते ही तप्तम युक्ते ही ओके लेट्स ओके नारा स्टार्ट हियर श्रद्धया पराया तप्तम सुश्रद्धया हम्म थ्री वन पराया इज़ आल्सो थ्री पराया तप्तम तपहा तत त्रिविदम नारा ही स्त्री त्री श्रद्धया परया श्रद्धया और परया श्रद्धया यत्तम यत्पर्याशद्यातप्तम और 
It'll be easy if you put them together also. You can say paraya shraddhya yat tapaha taptam. So all this is one one. Tat trividham. That is giving you an object. Yat shad, paraya shraddhya yat. Sorry, Paraya Shadhya Yatu Apala Kangshi Bhi Yuktai Hi Yattapaha Yuktai Hi Taptam or Yat um, Trividam. Uh, could it be so it, can, it can be yeah. trivial, you can separate the sentences, you know. Trividam Bhavati. Could it be and there that, so yet trividham bhavati in that then you mention that <coughs> or rather this trividham can be taken as what has gone by. What has gone by here? Here, I mean without going into the bhashya here itself. So it's a little Kaikam vachikam manasam. So here we can bracket it for easier understanding. So we'll say. Could it be? Aphala kaangshi bihi yuktaihi naraihi. Yat, yes. Yat, yeah, that's what, it, that's what I say. So yuktaihi naraihi. But what? Trividam. Narai, naraihi yuktaihi yat tapaha taptam. Tat yat trividam. trividam tapaha taptam. So you can say bring this trividam here. Naraihi. So Paraya Shraddhya. Yuktaihi. Yet. You can say, just give me one moment. So Paraya Shraddhya Yuktaihi. Aphala Kangchi Bihi. Yet. Trividham. Tapaha. Trividam tapaha taptam yuktai naraihi. So naraihi yat trividam tapaha taptam tat satvikam parichakshati. I think now it reads well, right? But I'm still getting an objective sense of tapaha taptam. I don't know. No, that's the problem with uh, the uh, uh, the thinking that the is always in second case because it is neuter. Here you look at see taptam, kim taptam. No, I thought naraihi taptam. So naraihi taptam, naraihi taptam is what? Naraihi taptam. It is naraihi taptam. Naraihi hmm. taptam. Hmm. What is so, done by you? Hmm. So Why will it karma. be second case? Karmani, karmani prayoga. That is Karmani prayoga, right? Taptam mm -hmm. is Naraihi Taptam is Karmani prayoga. Mm -hmm. Yes. You don't need a verb there. If you uh, put a verb there, then what is it? Nar naraihi. So you see, if, what is Taptam? How will you translate there? What is this Pratya, Nishtha Pratya? Ta. Mm -hmm. Ta Tavatu Nishtha. And which Kala? Bhuta. Bhute. So Bhute Taptam. How will you translate it now? What has what so tapaha taptam put together? You can say what austerity has been practiced. Hmm. Now, if you translate it, what what is the sense you get? Bhavati is not there, and it is there sitting there. We don't need it though, because this itself is bringing that bhute sense there. And being bhuta kala, how will you translate tapaha yah yat tapaha taptam? That austerity tapaha which has been practiced by whom? Which is practiced also. It need not be bhute also. Which is practiced also. You can just say whichever is practiced and that gives what sense? It gives a sense of karmani. Therefore, kaihi taptam, naraihi taptam, kidrisha naraihi taptam. Aphala Kangshi Bhi, Karma Yogi Bhi. 
why do do they do this karma then why is it practiced by them because yuktaihi they are endowed with what paraya shraddhaya so paraya shraddhaya yuktaihi apala kaanshi bihi naraihi yat trividam tapah taptam bhavati also you can say taptam bhavati there you will get the first case meaning otherwise without that you will still be thinking as to what is the you know so taptam is inherently translated as is practice once you bhavati then is will come in if you say was practice that is also fine but kaihi practiced by whom because when you say translate as is practice there is is sitting there the bhuta kala can be taken in by saying is practiced tat satvikam parichakshate that is called as satvikam anyone has a question regarding the construct here or is it clear i had one point that parichakshate last time we said it is plural no it last class kalyan ji was also asking yeah yeah yes parichakshate that is plural i'm sorry yeah parichakshate that's right thanks thanks for the correction that is plural yeah that because um, that parichakshate uh, was it uh, just give me one moment uh, i'm a little parichakshate uh, parichakshate has the meaning of kathayanti um, थ्री सो parichakshate that is here here so far what is practiced they call it so it, how will it be that which is practiced they call as who are they shishta so shishta call that tapta which is practiced by these people due to being endowed with shraddha ityadi they call it as satvikam So when in the earlier part is translates as karmani, the thinking is that you translate the next as is called as, but here it is they call it as satvika tapaha. So you can say trividham tapaha taptam. This tapa can be brought in here. Tat tapaha shishta shishtaha. परिचक्ष शिष्टा हियर वी कैन टेक कर्ता हियर शिष्टा तत् तप सात्विक परिचक्ष नाउ यू कैन गो एंड व्हाट भव्या सेट देयर देन यू दिस तप यूज इन द अर्लियर पार्ट इज फर्स्ट केस इन द सेकंड पार्ट इट विल बी सेकंड केस देन सात्विक विल बी व्हाट विल बी सात्विक विल बी सेकंड केस because parichakshate is kartari so satvikam parichakshate you cannot say because parichakshate is de de se so therefore plural also does not fit in here and definitely satvikam is not talking therefore it is not satvikam is not karta parichakshate is so the meaning of chakshing so i think it's shabde dhatu so shabde arthe therefore uh, not chakshing chaksh don't remember it this dhatu do chaksh but that's a good catch i mean last time kalyan uh, ji had asked it yeah it's a ditiya gana dhatu so ditiya gana dhatu have that uh, and atmane padi so is this clear now shishta ha tat tapah so shishta can be put in bracket here tat tapah satvikam parichakshate bhavya Yes, yes 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 okay so shraddhaya shraddhaya is astikya buddhya paraya prakrishtaya that sorry taptam taptam is anushthitam that tapah which is practiced by naras who are endowed with astikya buddhi that is shraddha that tapah prakritam 
प्रकृत मीन वॉट एज गॉन बाय इन दी कॉन्टेक्स्ट त्रिविधम त्रिप्रकार त्रधिष्ठानम नर ही अनुष्ठातृभ अफलाकांक्षि फलाकांक्ष रहित युक्त सामहित यदृश तप सो ऑल दैट इज ऑन दिस साइड इज ईदृश तप देर बिकॉज ओनली सर्टन काइंड ऑफ पीपल फॉलो दैट कैंड ऑफ तप सो वॉट इज प्रैक्टिस बाय दीज कैंड ऑफ पीपल दैट इज ईदृश तप युक्त सामहित दोज वर एंडोड एंडोड विथ वॉट एंडोड विथ हियर यू सी अफलाकांक्षि मीन्स फलाकांक्षा रहित ही the nanj is explained as rahita by those kind of people so apalakanshi bihi yuktaihi naraihi due to shraddha or with shraddha what is practiced that tapa yat idrishan tapa tat satvikam satvikam is what सत्व निर्वृत्तम जस्ट लाइक शारीरकम वॉज एक्सप्लेन सात्विकम इज ऑल्सो एक्सप्लेन सत्व निर्वृत्तम दैट विच इज एकम्प्लिस्ड बाय सत्व गुण थ्रू सत्व गुण सत्व निर्वृत्तम दैट विच इज एकम्प्लिस्ड ड्यू टू सत्व गुण और बाय द मीन्स ऑफ सत्व गुण बीइंग इन प्रधान दे कॉल कथयती परिचक्षते हू शिष्टा शिष्टा परिचक्षते फर्दर सत्कारमान पूजा तपोदंभे नयत क्रियते तदीह प्रोक्त राजसमचलमध्रुव सत्कार मान पूजा तप दंबेन चत क्रियते तोक्त राजसम चलम अध्रुव क्रियते क्रियापद प्रथम पुरुष एक प्रयोग so yeah. karmani prayoga then we karmani will not go wrong with the cases yeah. also okay then so tapaha vili prathama vipati ekavachana and so satkara mana pujartham me lakha bhi prathama purusha prathama vipati ekavachana and dambena will be tritiya ekavachana cha and eva will be abhyaya then yat also will be prathama vibhakti ekavachana then um, tat uh, tat will be again one one and then iha will be avyaya then proktam uh, rajasam chalam and adhram all will be prathama yeah. yeah so yat kriyate tat proktam यह यह क्रियते और यह प्रोक्तम व्हाट इज राजसम देन चलम अध्रुवम ऑल दीज आर मेंशनड हियर सत्कार मान पूजार्थम तपः दैट तप व्हिच इज डन फॉर द पर्पस सो तपः हियर सत्कार मान पूजार्थम इज बहुरीहि सो सत्कार मान एंड पूजा इज अर्थ फॉर व्हिच तप दैट तप इज सत्कार मान पूजार्थ so that's how you understand and you can put it in sanskritam to understand the bahuri or what is the meaning what is the meaning finally satkara mana puja yai that which is done for satkara mana and puja if you take it in a singular word puja uh, you can say uh, 
सत्कार मान पूजाभ्य दट इज द मीनिंग तादर्थे विथ चतुर्थी इफ यू टेक चतुर्थी काइंड ऑफ मीनिंग इज सिटिंग देयर विथ अर्था बीइंग देयर दट इज तादर्था काइंड ऑफ अर्था सिटिंग देयर सो मीनिंग वाइज यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड इज दैट तादर्थे चतुर्थी मीनिंग बिकॉज़ अर्था इज देयर बट टेक्निकली दिस इज अ बहुरी फॉर तप क्वालिफाइंग तप दंभे न च यत क्रियते एंड डन बाय प्राइड so due to pride or for this purpose for satkarma and puja then that is called as rajasa and what is it chalam bhavati adhruvam cha bhavati it will not last so that is the idea there satkara is what sadukaraha sadhu ayam tapasvi brahmana ityam artham so for what purpose is tapas being done oh he is a sadhu person you know so people talk about him so fame that is satkara some praise and you no know, some reward sadhu ayam tapasvi brahmana this is how people will talk about this person that thinking is there due to which a person does tapas let people look at me look at the kind of tapas that i do manaha mana is what mananam so for respect pratyut mananam pratyutthana bhi vadanaadihi so any kind of mana basically uh, is explained prati uttha pratyutthana bhi abhivadanaadihi so pratyutthana abhivadanaadihi tadartham so again tadartham for that purpose each satkarartham manartham poojartham so that is how the dwandva will connect here thereby it is for something else the tapas is not for oneself there tapas is to you know uh, what do you call that I mean, brownie points you know whatever you know people should respect me they should worship me they should talk good about me reward me all that idea backing there so mana is oh, you know oh please whatever you know they with respectfully you know they do uh, namaskara ityadi for that purpose puja you already know puja is puja pada prakshalan archana uh, so pada pa, prada prakshalan washing the feet archana you know the meaning अर्चना शैत्रुत्वादि तदर्थं च तपः स तदर्थम इज अगेन इज कनेक्टिंग दैट वे पूजार्थम सो दैट यू नो दी वॉशिंग दी फीड डूइंग अर्चना एंड यू नो फीडिंग एंड ऑल दैट यू नो ऑल ऑफ दीस तदर्थं च तपः सत्कार मान पूजार्थम that is the meaning there that tapa is for that purpose dambhena cheva due to pride fun does it yat kriyate tapah tat iha proktam proktam is kathitam is said what as rajasam and chalam is what kada chitka phalatvena adhruvam chalam it is it will be agantuka the result will be transitory it will not be permanent anyway no result of karma is permanent but then still this will not give much result at all because the sankalpa is something else therefore it will be very transitory in nature and thereby being chalam adhruvam kada chitka phalatvena adhruvam so chalam is the karma itself is with its result it is very shaky is not is it on shaky ground and therefore the result will also be adhruva so uncertain very shaky and it is adhruva it is not firm so one cannot claim that i have done it i should get the result me or me not get the result up to that expectation because the sankalpa is something else the focus is elsewhere while doing it so 
with that background one has to do the tapa uh, as to what kind of tapa we look at the tamasa tapa so rajasa it's a rajasa tapa tamasa tapa we will look at in the next part huh? sorry my throat is you know it's a little it's hurting a little it's become a coarse voice <coughs> Narayana Paro Vyakta Dandama Vyakta Sambhu Mandasyantas Tumiruka Sapta Dvipa Chamedini Any questions? How many verses are there in this? 28, okay. Uh, my question is... Uh, uh, did you have a question? Sorry. Can we take all these uh, Satika qualities uh, which have been mentioned as that of a Karma Yogi? As, as, as the... Uh, of threshold or yeah uh, yes you could you could take that um, as uh, yeah because that's why it is said you know aphala kangshi vihi narai so yukta is going earlier to this so aphala kangshi bhi is showing the that's why i explained the aphala kangshi as karma yogi so okay. all the sattvika uh, can be taken together as because the sattvika will make a person a karma yogi so they are obviously connected to each other. Yeah. But it's something which we can actually hold in the hand in terms because uh, when Krishna is talking in, in about no, culture, sure uh, yeah, it's more uh, it's more uh, practical oriented. I would say it's not like karma yoga for me is always so little subtle because. We'll say we have to do things for God in with, with this attitude. And here we that have... That is there, right? Shraddhaya is already there. So, see, Aphala Kangshi Bhi, see what makes Karma Yoga. Karma Yoga practically is not possible unless there is Shraddha involved. Puja Swamiji would go up to the extent of saying that without understanding Ishwara, there is no Karma Yoga. He would say that, in fact. So, see, Aphala Kangshi Bhi, there are people who do social service also. That is not karma yoga. In the true sense, karma is dharma. Of course, service of uh, you know Narayana Seva is prescribed. Nara Seva is Narayana Seva. That is also prescribed. Prescribed in sense, it is not at a higher level though. That will not make a person a karma yogi. It will give chitta shuddhi, but that chitta shuddhi is a different kind of chitta shuddhi. It may or may not come up come about. So that may make a person ready for karma yoga itself, not for jnana. For jnana, karma yoga is the means. For karma yoga itself, the means is the shraddha lacking person who does not have shraddha, but he does service or does anything without the phala akamsha. So, Phala Akanksha is possible with respect to what karma? That should be the question. If a person is doing Laukika karma, then it is not considered as karma yoga. It is a secondary meaning. If it is prescribed by the Shastra with concession, you say that it is karma yoga. But real karma yoga is dharma yoga. That karma is dharma. I have mentioned many a time that karma in the context of the Shastra is always Vaidika karma. It is Varnashrama karma, therefore dharma. Vaidika karma not necessarily only, you know, the Shruti Kara itself, Yajna Ityadi. It can be other things, but they have to be dharma as prescribed from, by the Shruti, because dharma itself has no other source. So you are right that it is easier because, uh, you know, it is not dependent on my Shraddha, but then if it is not dependent on the Shraddha, it will not make it Karma Yoga proper either. It is a concession, which is okay. But uh, concession, we have to understand, is a concession. Just because a con concession is given, one need not take it. If one can do better, then one should strive to do better. I don't know whether that uh, makes sense. Yeah, yeah, no, that, that part was clear. I was actually, I didn't mean this particular shloka. I meant uh, the, the the parts where we are saying the vachika tapas, manasika tapas. So those are 
also qualities which a karma a person involved in karma yoga will have so there it's something where we see for the first time some tangible qualities Yeah, that's uh, how it is explained here. I understand where you're coming from, but that's why that's why how it is said. It is said as what kind of person does what kind of karma. So sattvika, you cannot just have, you don't have to limit it only to karma yoga. Karma yogi is a sattvika. Not every sattvika is a karma yogi, right? Oh, okay, okay, okay. So the so, the sattva part comes in there critically. Yeah, sattva. So sattva guna who has see it can be seen both ways. you list out all the gunas these are sattvika gunas then you say here it is done the other way round they are both ways right just like in the second chapter what is the sadhana that a sadhak has to do he wants to be a jnani so what should be the sadhana of a sadhaka he should start mimicking the jnani not mimic in the sense do whatever he does but try to inculcate those values with effort so you put in an effort unto that which is effortless for a jnani and other way also it is said whatever is brought about with effort by a sadhaka that is effortless for a jnani similarly here in this chapter what is being done initially we saw in the opening it, it was said how can you see how can you understand this sattvik or what do you understand this person you want to keep him away or you want to be a, around a particular kind of a person as a sadhaka then you look at what they do and then you'll understand what you should do what you should avoid so that's another way to look at it this is how uh, sattvika people whatever is done by sattvika people because what has what was the question it is the, the reason it is taking this kind of a way is because what was asked by arjuna arjuna has asked as to earlier you have mentioned something that is a prashna bija so that was in the opening tasmat shastram pramanam te इति लब्ध प्रश्न अर्जुन उवाच सो इज अ क्वेश्चन नाउ शास्त्र इज प्रमाण नाउ अगेन सेम थिंग श्रद्धा शास्त्र श्रद्धा इज नॉट देयर बट द पर्सन डज विदाउट नोइंग व्हाट द शास्त्र सेज द पर्सन डज व्हाट इज देयर लॉट सो देयर इट इज सेड दैट द पीपल आर ऑफ थ्री टाइप्स सो हियर इट इज एक्सप्लेनेशन इज दैट श्रद्धान्विता तेषां निष्ठा तु का कृष्ण देन सत्व सत्व माहो रजस्तमा सो दे हैव दिस व्हाट इज देयर गुणा सो इज देन इट इज सीन एज त्रिविदा भवति श्रद्धा स्टार्टेड देयर एज टू व्हाट इज द श्रद्धा ऑफ थ्री टाइप्स एंड हु हैज दिस व्हाट काइंड ऑफ पीपल हैव दिस काइंड ऑफ श्रद्धा एंड व्हाट इज द काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स दैट दे डू सो बोथ वेज what is the kind of things what is the guna that they have and when they have these gunas what are the kind of karma that do, they do what is the kind of tapas that they do what is the kind of yajna that they do what is the kind of dana that they do therefore these dana yajna ityadi is also divided into three types based on what kind of a person does it what kind of a person meaning what kind of a guna endowed person so it is linked both ways sometimes it is said is one way saying that this is sattvika so one who does is a sattvika person and then other times it is said that this is done by sattvika person so you understand that it is sattvika yajna so both ways you can whichever is easier you can take that but it is explained both ways are you able to see that yeah okay no i think that was critical what you said that sattvika person is not same as a uh, karma, karma yogi karma yogi is sattvika but not every sattvika is a karma yogi because one has to go beyond karma yoga one need not say that karma yoga is my end goal karma yoga is a stepping stone to uh, one cannot say no i like doing karma i i am work all it so i'll keep on doing it it is okay but then don't expect it to be the end goal in shastra shastra says you have to go beyond that because to do karma yoga there has to be we have seen phala kamsha may not be there but there is karaka bheda it is encouraged this is a differentiation jnana and karma differentiation is made dve nishthe there are two nishthas karma yogi has a different nishtha he has a goal goal of chitta shuddhi 
he wants to remain there that will be questionable if one wants to remain there that's there's a question it's okay you are following that path so it is pravritti marga fine that will also finally lead there itself because jnana is the end goal whether one knows or not jnana is the end goal and for that sadhana is karma yoga so sattva when sattva has antakarana has so much of sattva meaning has so much of shuddhi then the person will drop off karma then karma yoga also because karma yoga having given enough chitta shuddhi for jnana to take place shravana continuing one will cross over on the other side one may still continue to do karma but that karma or karma yoga is not karma or karma yoga anymore because there is no goal associated with any it anymore it is all karma bhasa for a jnani it is a karma bhasa jnani is karma is karma bhasa not karma or karma yoga even so people who say you know oh, my guru is a great karma yogi it is a laughable statement the person does not understand the jnani also he is insulting the guru he does not understand karma yoga also in fact our acharya ji used to say that <laughs> people think that they are they are praising their guru but it is not a praise at all how can you say that the jnani is a, the best karma yogi there are people who say that there are people who say that he is the best karma yogi he is not a karma yogi the term has been misunderstood as per the shastra it has been misunderstood you have uh, something else in the vivaksha that is fine you didn't mean that you don't even know i mean you as in the person who says that i i have seen you know diggaj people who say that you know my guru or this person was a karma yogi karma yoga is a sadhana for something he was not a sadhaka at all he is not a guru then he is a guru and a sadhaka he is not does not fit the bill so a person may not even know that he is making an error while praising he the guru may have some something else in mind he'll say what is he saying but then it is not uh, it, it is not understood properly karma yoga is a sadhana it is not the end goal in itself even when two nishthas have been talked about it is a concession saying that they are really two nishthas leading to the goal without merging they have to merge and the merging is only one side karma yoga merges into the jnana yoga path not the other way around okay, okay. yeah so there is sattva needed in fact we are looking at all this sattva is needed not only by the sadhaka sattva has to be retained sattva guna even after jnana utpatti it has to be retained that is why vasanakshaya manonasha ityadi Pramena talked about. It's talked about. Okay. Okay. Namaste. Namaste. Namaste, Guru. Namaskar.